Hey there, how are you doing? Wish I could just hear the answer to that question. But you could always let me know in an email or a note or a phone call and I'll check in with mom and dad when I can. There's a favorite blessing, um, which it's a Celtic blessing, so it comes from the Irish and Scottish background. Um, but there's a couple lines in it that I really love. And it, it's a blessing of light. It's a blessing of sunlight shining down upon us. And um, But the one I love, the part I love is, may, you, may the two eyes of you be like a candle set in a window, bidding the stranger to come in. So the image comes from long in the past when you didn't have electric lights, but you could set a candle in the window of the house so people would know this is, the, this is where the house is. Now, we kind of do something like that because we have lights outside our house to show where the house is. And my, my stepson, so my husband's oldest son, when he was coming to visit in November, hit snow just around, oh, before Orangeville. And it snowed all the way up. Not horribly, but just enough to kind of make driving hard and as he was coming along our road he was thinking oh how do i see the number how do i see the number but we had left all the outside lights on the light at the road the lights outside the house the light in the garage and he, as he came around a bend with he, he'd gone by all these dark houses and he came around the bend and he saw light and he that's where I'm going. <sighs> he said he just immediately relaxed and pulled in and got his stuff and got settled because he was arriving really, really late. But I know other people who have been coming along Gray Road 1 with snow blowing in front of them and wondering where along the road they are. And then there's the light at the Women's Institute Lookout. Okay, now I know where I am. In a bad storm, the next S bend can still be really challenging. But at least that light tells people, okay, now I know what's coming up. And the thing about a light in us, when we're a light that shines for other people, is that we can be that light that says, I know where you are. I know where we are. We're on the journey and you're not alone. You've, you've found somebody. When the light is in our eyes that welcomes the stranger, it says, I see you and we can figure this out together. Or just, I see you and that's great. I'm glad you're here. We can be that. We can be the light in the window that says, you're not alone. And when we feel like we need more, we're reminded that God is also our light. God is the light that shows us the direction, like good headlights that show us the edge of the road and how we're going to get to our destination. God is those, God's those headlights. God's that light at the Women's Institute corner that says, you're not lost. This is where you are. 
and the light in the distant window. The light in that distant window that says, oh, that's where I'm going. That's where I'll be welcomed. That's where I'll be at home. I hope there's lots of light in your lives. I hope that the sunlight these days, the warm, bright sunlight is warming your hearts. And I hope that your hearts will be gifts to others, as well as the warm heart being a gift to yourself. Do take good care. Peace be with you. And we'll talk soon.